Today, I'm going to ride this Garbro RT for my final time. The line is scheduled to be decommissioned in early 2023, so I'll be riding the entire line for this one final time, stopping at all six stations. I'm going to show you the platform, the various station views, the elevated track, and some of the busiest stations on the line like the Scarborough Town Center Station. So get ready, I'm taking you all with me for one final ride. The Scarborough RT is a part of the Toronto Transit System. It serves residents on the east side of the city in Scarborough. The line runs mostly through suburban Toronto and runs on an elevated track giving you lots of great views during your commute. The line connects with Line 2 of the Bloor Danforth Line at its terminal station, which is Kennedy Station. Alright, let's have a quick look at the trains that service the Bloor Danforth Line before beginning our RT ride at Kennedy Station. The trains on the lower level of Kennedy Station run on the Bloor Danforth Line, traveling the east to west corridor of the city. Line 2 is a much larger line covering 26.2 kilometers and has 31 stations. It's the second most busy line after the Young Street Line. The line first opened in 1966 and was further expanded in 68 and again in 1980. In the west you can get off at Kipling Station and make a connection there with the Kipling Go Station. The trains that run on the Bloor Danforth line use the same tracks as the streetcars while the SRT uses a slightly smaller track. So unlike the elevated tracks of the SRT, the Bloor Danforth line runs mainly underground and has a few surface points at Victoria Park in the east and Kipling Station in the west. The trains on the Bloor Danforth line have the capacity to carry over 250 passengers per car. They are arranged in a six car configuration and supplied by a local manufacturer right here in Ontario, Bombardier. All right. Heading back upstairs to board the SRT going northwards towards McCowan Station. The travel time between Kennedy Station to the next station, which is Lawrence East Station, takes about three minutes. traveling a north corridor that runs parallel to Midland and Kennedy Road. The walls of the local businesses and fences that line the SRT route have always been a popular canvas for local graffiti artists. The artwork has changed greatly over the years. I'll be honest, I didn't see anything that looked remotely familiar. From what I can recall, the most popular piece of graffiti art on the line is the East Side Mural, which has been featured in many Toronto hip-hop videos.
just arriving at Lawrence East Station. I'm going to get off the train and head downstairs to check out the station a bit. The Lawrence East Station is located at Lawrence Avenue East, just east of Kennedy Road. It's actually the third most busiest station on the line after the Kennedy Station and the Scarborough Town Center Station. The immediate area when you when get outside, um, it's really classified as low density. There's not too many uh, like housing developments around it. I think there's only one subdivision that's just south of the station. As you can see, they really haven't done too much with this station. Um, it's been in need of really renovations probably for the last decade, but you know, being that they had the plan to close the RT, that never really manifested with this station. It follows the same kind of design as the other stations, a lot of glass windows, steel frame. It seems to be the consistent theme of the stations on the SRT. Okay, heading back to the platform, gonna hop back on the train. We're heading north to our next station, which is Ellesmere Station. It's about a four minute train ride to the next station. Alright, so we're just arriving at Ellesmere Station, which is the least busiest station on the SRT network. In fact, it's the least busiest station on the entire Toronto Transit network. The station sees less than 3,000 passengers a day boarding trains. Ellesmere Station is located at 1025 Ellesmere Road. The station has two levels. In level one, you'll find the ticket booth, the turnstiles, and transfer points to the Ellesmere Road and bus stops. 
The station doesn't actually have a bus bay and passengers wanting to connect with the Ellesmere East bus would have to leave the station and walk to the nearest bus stop on Ellesmere Road. The bus bay was scrapped during the construction phase of the station to save cost. And now reflecting on the actual traffic coming through the station, it makes a lot of sense. On level 2 are the platforms for the east and westbound trains. The design of the station is very similar to Lawrence East Station. The major difference is that this station is considerably smaller. The station also has a small commuter parking lot with about 70 spaces. The pricing is the standard $5 a day or $3 after 3 p.m. Let's have a quick look above ground. As you can see, the entrance for the station is very undesirable. All right, let's head back up to the station to board the train again. We are going to bypass Midland Station and head straight for the second most busiest station on the SRT, the Scarborough Town Center Station. Arriving at Scarborough Town Center Station, located at 508 Borough Drive. The Scarborough Town Center Station is the second busiest station on the line seeing over 25,000 daily passengers who start or end their journey at this stop. The station has a large bus bay that accommodates 16 connecting local TTC bus service routes and the regional GO bus service. There is also a skywalk that connects the Scarborough Town Center Station to the Scarborough Civic Center and surrounding condominiums. Because of the station's popularity, it received many upgrades to make it more wheelchair accessible. Alright, hopping back on the SRT to head to the final station, McCowan Station. Serving under 5,000 daily passengers, McCowan Station is at the end of the line and is about 500 meters east of the Scarborough Town Center Station. We're coming close to the end of my final ride on the Scarborough Rapid Transit line. Thank you for taking this trip with me. And if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button and click the notification bell. I'm not sure where I'm going next, but I am sure that I want all of you to come along with me for my next adventure. Until next time, my friends, stay safe, and I'm sending you positive vibes for a great week ahead.